everybody, how's it going? It's Gaming Jack 24 7 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play I Ninja. In the last episode, we did another one level with the Sap Suckers. And in this episode, we're gonna do the last level that we can do right now in this area, which means episode the episode after this one is gonna be some backtracking. Now, I haven't decided for the next episode if I'm gonna backtrack all the way to Robot Beach, or if I want to backtrack just to the Bay Area and show off some of that. So, if you want to leave some comments as to what I should do, just leave it in the leave it in the comment section below. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Facebook. Just let me know. And based off your decisions, if anyone actually wants to give me an opinion, then I'll do that. If not, then I'll just figure something out on my own. But anyway, let's do the level, the last level of this area called Ride the Logs. Now let's talk to Sensei. Travel upstream to the secluded waterfall cavern and claim the grade. Don't get your feet wet. Yeah, whatever. Yep, Sensei right, said it right there. This is going to be one of these kind of levels where the platforms are going to be moving backwards and, you know, See, I kind of like that. They put the grade under the waterfall. I thought that was kind of a cool addition. Now, this entire level isn't going to be just jumping up the logs and whatnot. Also, the river is moving backwards. So, I believe if you fall in, you can't exactly move too far forwards on your own. There's going to be blockades and whatnot. So, you want to make sure, for the most part, that you're on the logs. So, yeah. And that was, ooh, that was a nice combo if you didn't see that. If you didn't see that... Rewind the video and watch it again, because that was just, it just looked really cool. It was uppercut, it was basically that. It was slash to jumping slash death. So here what we need to do is we get to play a little bit of, uh, we get to play the water is lava instead of the floor is lava. So yeah, we keep going, and I forgot. Those platforms sink, and please let me on. Please let me on. Luckily, this platform was nice enough to let us back on, because I forgot that those platforms sink, which is not exactly the most fun thing in the world. So, I believe we are supposed to go to the right, but I want to come over here just so I can grab that. So, we jump on here, we jump on this platform, and we jump to the right. Get another ranks running for his life. Just for running for me, I'm going to put my two... I only had two darts, and I still wasted them both on him. Now, obviously, the screen's right there, so we have to go that way. I'm sorry, I just stopped. I, I don't know why. I just stopped talking there for a second. I just really was, just like, kind of frustrated. Because. How do I explain this? I'm. Currently, the summer. I really wanted to spend the summer making a lot more content and, you know, really making sure that I stay up to date on my updates and whatnot. But. The problem is. Earlier, before I started this channel, I decided I would spend the summer at um, my college, the University of Connecticut, and because of that, and because I didn't exactly have stellar grades last semester, my mother decided that it would be detrimental to me to bring my video games with me at the college. So, instead of, you know, having a once, you know, only when I need to, I don't have to, you know, rush and do eight episodes in a row kind of schedule to my recordings. Instead, now, I have to literally do pretty much every single one of my recordings back to back to back right now. Like, I'm in the middle... If if you didn't know, I'm actually in the middle of an eight-session recording session. Like, I've... This is... Or, no, not eight, six. This is going to be the sixth episode of either of both games that I'm going to be recording. Both games combined, of course. I'm obviously not doing... I didn't do that many because... Yeah. But I decided that as long as I record a decent amount of content in a row, that way I can at least come... I can still keep my uh, my uh, recording schedule on... My, like, release schedule. I can still keep that on target with where I would like it to be. Two... Which is, obviously, two episodes a week. I want to make sure I'm updating every single week. 
So, since I, if I do these large sessions all at the same time, then it makes it easier to, you know, release content three weeks in a row and not have to come back home every weekend. But it's not as bad because it's not like I've traveled forever to get home. Ow. Yeah. Uh, also, while I've been talking, I neglected to mention that we have a new version of the Generals. And this is Giant Skin. He is basically just like those other turtle guys we fought. Except this guy shoots rockets. That's his main weapon. So that way, when you kill him, he drops down. And his chest's open. Where he launches his rockets from, he basically takes his own rockets back and explodes. And I was about to say, I was like, we didn't see a rocket launcher earlier. And, we didn't, and there was no bear. And there was no way to... Now you want to avoid him right here. If he covers his chest like that, if he covers his body, as you notice, his torso is his weak spot. So, if he does that, you can't attack him. You can't damage him. So basically, as he does that, you just have to retreat and wait for him to stop being a little bitch. And come back. Alright, so now we're in our next section of the river. And we're just going to work our way up. I'm not going to waste my time getting those coins over there because they're just coins. Damn it! I'll let you see this because now you actually get to see how kind of tedious it is to fail and have to come back and do that again. So now you can see the kind of stuff I have to go through behind the scenes. Really? If I keep failing like this, I'll show a montage. So you'll obviously know. But if not, like if I get it on this next try, then obviously I don't need to montage it because I won't <laughs> I wouldn't have screwed up as much. So until then, I'm just gonna keep talking because I'm I I think I got it this time. I think I got it. I think I, I got this. I got this. I got the confidence. I got the confidence. I got the confidence. I got the confidence. Yeah. I, I have no idea what I was singing right there. So yeah. Just don't quote me on any of that. So anyway, here's our next little non-water section. See, that's another thing. Usually to do... Uh, sorry, I'm ninja reviving real quick, because if you didn't notice, my health is really, really freaking low. And unfortunately, like I suspected, ninja revive doesn't heal you all the way. It's the majority of the way. It's about... If it was your original health bar, it'd be about 100%. But it's only about 50% now, so it's not, you know, as awesome. But it's still very helpful because, you know, 50% of my health back is 50% of my health back. And also, another thing to note, when you have, like, two rage bars, say it was earlier in the game, where we only had two of our rage things, where we had Ninja Revive and Ninja Berserk. Instead of... You know, if I decided I wanted to use Ninja Berserk for two full rage squares, instead of, I believe, instead of costing me, you know, both of my ninja squares, even though I only used one, because I only did, you know, I only did a thing that cost one ninja square, it'll only take away one. It won't take away both. Sorry, I'm just trying to stay alive right now. Pick up your head. Stop Let's heal again because we need it. I am screwing up big time and I don't. <laughs> Luckily, this is, I believe, the last enemy that I've opened up the area ahead. Yep. Last enemy. So now we break open the, the rank spawner and we can move forward. Now, this level is actually going a little bit faster than I expected last time. So maybe. Especially with the... I believe I cut an earlier part down a little bit just to make it a little bit Shut up, I don't care. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. And the rest of you. I don't want to beat your ass. That's kind of sexual. And I don't want to beat your ass. I have a girlfriend, sir. Sir, I do not want to smell your feet. That is not my fetish. Yeah, so... Anyway... Off of that random comment, we're just gonna go up here and work our way back. So now we just climb up here through our usual stuff and things and 
There's another general over there. Am I supposed to... Yeah, I believe that's the direction we're actually supposed to go to get to where we need to be. But if you come over here, I believe... Actually, I may... Yeah! So if you go up there, I just saw it. There's a little chain grab right there. So it... I, I thought I had it. I really thought I had it. But I guess I... I guess I flipped. But... There we go. So now, we can travel to these two sides, grab some extra coins, get some bonus points for them, since we did the little rail grind thing. And we get some more shuriken, even though we haven't used like any of our shurikens at all whatsoever. Anyway, now that we're done with that, I really don't care about those extra four coins. Let's go find another general, shall we? So we just walking along, just walking along on memory lane, apparently. And actually, actually, do we? Why is that general there? If that's the checkpoint, then why is this general here? He's oh, that's why. Because. If I remember correctly, we need that giant walnut looking thing for the next set of puzzles and whatnot. Now we back off because he's gonna get all ragey. Now let's beat him up. Not beat him, beat him up. Up, 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 up. I beat you, beat you up. I beat you, beat you up. I beat you up. Because I don't like you. Not invited to my birthday party. You die. You die and you like it. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Getting a little violent there, aren't I? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, here we go. And wouldn't you know it? Get <laughs> it's not the same ball rolling mechanic. Now it's walking on the ball mechanic. Which I still don't understand why we can just easily crush these guys. And why that thing decided not to spawn again. But I believe you can still roll this. You can all, you know, find a dandy. But, luckily, the controls on, like I mentioned before, every ball rolling session, whether it be running on top of it or not, smooth controls. Really, honestly, overall, that's, an, that's one thing that I Ninja, I believe, got right. That, no matter how, like, weird and kind of convoluted the story may be, is that the controls for this game are just very solid. Like, it doesn't, if you mess up a jump, it doesn't feel like you, like, you have... You have to, a certain extent, mid-air control. It's not like, you know, it's drastic like Mario, where if you're falling, you can jump up and then just automatically, you know, change your direction for two seconds. No. There's a momentum, so if, like, you jump and you say, hell no, I don't want to go there. And you can stop yourself from jumping. So that's another thing I really like about this game. Overall, I, I really do like this game. I mean, sure, like, the last two episodes, I was getting really ragey over how long the levels were, and I was getting... But that was, it wasn't really over the levels themselves, it was just my kind of personal rage over the fact that I'm screwing up so much. Because honestly, you don't screw up as much as I did. These levels are not as long as you think. So, yeah. But now we get our... Ooh, oh, we almost messed up. I almost messed up. I keep saying we. But, yeah, it's it's me. I'm the one who's almost screwing up. Yeah, but now we come over here, this is our last area. Because if you see right there, that's actually the grade right there. But unfortunately, it's also blocked by this rank spawner. Okay, um, before I die, before I die, please, 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 please. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Actually, yeah, we had we had up to Ninja Shirk. And I decided to use Ninja Revive, but unfortunately, that took up all our rage, so never mind. I re that would have been another thing. That's that's another little nitpicky thing. Like, it's not a huge deal, because fighting these enemies, these tougher enemies, it's very easy to build up your rage, because all you have to do is just hit them. Even then, you don't even need an enemy. You can find, like, a giant area of grass, and you can just cut that up to, pe to ribbons. Like this. Even cutting that in half gives you rage. Now, luckily, we don't have to do anything else here. There was a waterfall earlier, but clearly we just had to get around it. We didn't have to. Obviously, we didn't have to do anything with it. We didn't. And so, with this one chain grab, 
through the waterfall, and we have our grid. Yeah. And now, since this is actually a lot shorter an episode than the other two, the last two, I'm going to call it an episode right here, to be honest. I mean, like I said, the next... Ooh, wait, hold on. We got a sword upgrade, so I can't skip over this. Listen to Sensei. The sapphire sword was carved out of the largest sapphire crystal ever known and found on the floor of the deepest ocean. It is light and razor sharp. Yep, so we get our sapphire sword. Again, I kind of like that, how every single blade that you get in the game actually color corresponds to the next level belt. Because if you haven't noticed, we got a gold sword for our yellow belt, we got a green sword for our green belt, and here's Sensei bitching at us. Hey Ninja, all the mission doors are locked here. You must complete some other missions first. Yep, there's Sensei telling us. Just like last time, we have to backtrack and go back to an older area. But, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to call it an episode right here. So, in the meantime, thank you all so very much for watching this. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you really like it, consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. And until the next time, guys and girls, this has been Gaming Jack 24-7 here, reminding you to just have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.